There was a big shakeup in Canadian politics last week when Robert Giz stepped down in PEI. Giz, of course, was the mayor of Prince Edward Island, and he joins me now. Mayor Giz, why did you decide to leave the mayor's cottage? You know, I thought it was uh, a good opportunity uh, for me to <laughs> move on and uh, try some uh, different things in life, and I thought maybe now I'd look at uh, becoming premier. <laughs> now, of course, uh, I'm sorry to correct you, sir, but uh, as you know, to be premier, you had to be leader of a province, not a town like PEI. Uh, of course, I'm kidding, you are stepping down as premier of PEI. Are you considering a career in politics now? <laughs> It's always a consideration. I, I think I may wait till I'm uh, a little bit older, mm -hmm. um, and I'll give it a try. But uh, as of now, I have no plans. Now, it's a bit of a, a political dynasty there. Your father, of course, famously was premier for uh, seven years, correct? Uh, absolutely. And you were premier for eight years. Boy, that's... Talk about one up in the old man there. Did you stay in just to beat his record? Uh, no, but uh, I guess uh, looking back in hindsight now, uh, it's always nice to uh, last a little bit longer. But I actually fixed it to go like that. That's why we put in fixed election dates, so that I'd be able to serve uh, a little bit longer than my father. When will you announce that you're going to run against Conservative Fisheries Minister Gail Shea for a federal seat? You're on network television. This would be a good time, sir. Absolutely. I'm going to say I will uh, consider announcing my candidacy in eight years' time. Wow. Okay, well, it's good to get out ahead of things. Now, you just stepped down. It's very stressful being a premier. My question for you, sir, is uh, what was the last straw that made you decide to step down as premier? I'm going to say Brian Gallant. Not Brian Gallant from Miss Gush, or not Brian Gallant from Surrey, but Brian Gallant from over on the mainland. That good-looking guy who looks like uh, Aaron Eckhart or something like that. He just was the last straw in the back. I said, listen, if I can't be the youngest premier in the country, I'm not sticking around anymore. Gallant! Now, Premier, uh, you had a job, you stepped down. Do you still qualify for EI? And if not, are you worried that the PEI IPIs might come after you? The only response I have to that is no, 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 yes, no. Spoken like a true Atlantic Canadian. Well, good luck, sir. We really need a PEI politician to step up onto the national stage because the last politician to get headlines for PEI might be going to jail.